Broward County really is the epicenter of scholastic chess in the United States right now. There are more students playing chess out of the school board, more communities engaged uh, at a very basic level from parks and recs to inside businesses. And I really think what we're going to see over the next three, four, five years is an explosion of scholastic chess focused on the power of what it can do for young minds, but also how it can bring communities and people closer together. Chess introduces critical thinking at a very young age, and uh, usually uh, we can do it at a younger age than they typically do in schools. Uh, normally you have to wait until you start the sciences. With chess we can start uh, children thinking in a particular way as young as kindergarten. We have embraced the, uh, the Scholastic Chess Foundation's model and uh, of uh, bringing the community together, teaching young people how to get involved in chess and how to play. And uh, we have uh, started in, uh, in, in uh, right now, three different cities that we have, North Lauderdale, Deerfield, um, as well as uh, West Park. Uh, we're also going to be pushing through our, uh, as it starts to progress through our uh, our uh, school resource uh, deputies and uh, each one of the schools to have an after hours or after school uh, program. So that's uh, pretty much how we're getting involved at this point, which is just the beginning, it's in its infancy, but are hoping to expand it uh, throughout the county. Uh, we're fortunate in Broward County, right now the number one U.S. chess player in the United States and number three in the world lives here in Broward County. And his help and the cooperation of the National Scholastic Chess Foundation as well as the Broward Education Foundation has really allowed us to expand the chess program in Broward County. It's an exciting opportunity for the entire county and I'm, I'm just so uh, impressed at the number of partners who've come forward.